For nearly a century, fingerprints have been the gold standard of forensic science. And for good reason. Fingerprints are one of the earliest features to develop inside the womb. The pressure of amniotic fluid across the surface of the hands and the growth rate of the fingers influences the formation of patterns on the fingertips. And with so many factors in play, everyone's prints are unique. Even those of identical twins. Fingerprints lock in at about the 24th week of development. And while this pattern of hills and valleys grows over time, the shape itself stays the same from cradle to grave. While that consistency has made fingerprints a key tool for law enforcement, their actual evolutionary purpose is far more basic, to help us grab objects. The function they serve is so we can pick up things. The friction of the three-dimensional ridges enables us to easily pick things up. And when these bumpy ridges on our fingers make contact with something, they leave a lasting impression. Fingerprints have fascinated people for centuries. As early as the year 220 BC, the ancient Chinese used fingerprints to sign legal documents without realizing how individual these marks truly were. That breakthrough wouldn't come for more than a thousand years. In 1684, English physician Nehemiah Grew published the first scientific analysis of the ridges that appear in the fingers and palms. A hundred years later, in 1788, the German anatomist Johann Meyer went one step further, declaring that no two people have the same fingerprints. But it wasn't until the late 19th century that the science of fingerprints would play a central role in a criminal investigation for the very first time.